Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm looking at the Zellman ZAD 7 Plus case. This might not be the most fancy looking box on the planet, but it's not too bad. You've got a picture of the product on the front of the case, although it's like an artistic rendering of it. It still gives you an idea what it looks like. It shows the model number, also features and specifications on the front of the box. Same information there on the back. And on this side, you've got some more information. One thing colorful on this box is this sticker, which says a complimentary 120 millimeter fan included and extra fans that are included are always welcome. Now, surprisingly enough, there wasn't a lot of damage to this box, which is fantastic. Now, some might find this very trivial that I'm going to mention how dangerous plastic bags are for kids. Well, they are. And it's stated here right at the top, just as a reminder, this is a good thing. Now, let me remove this bag and have a closer look at the case. There's a piece of tape here on this door to hold it into place. And here we have the microphone jack, headphone jack, USB ports, external serial ATA port, as well as the reset button. Here's the power button, as well as the hard drive activity LED and power LED. And they include a piece of protective plastic here on this shiny surface. The front of the case is comprised of many five and a quarter inch drive bay covers. All of these are mesh. There's more mesh on the left side panel and they include a fan. At the back of the case, at the very top, is where you install a standard ETX power supply. There are two rubber grommeted holes for water cooling systems tubes to pass through. They include a fan. Here's where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed. The ventilated expansion slots, more ventilation, and both the right and left side panels include thumb screws. Inside the case, they have a silica gel pack attached to the motherboard tray. This, of course, is to absorb moisture. User's manual, as well as some tie downs and screws. And an accessory box, which is attached to the case by a nice long tie. And that's good because this is not flying around inside the case. Let's see what's inside here. Ooh, this is the included 120 millimeter fan that they indicated was included on the box. This is a mid-sized tower case, so there's not a tremendous amount of room to work on the inside, but they do include a lots of great features, like for example, toolless design here on the five and a quarter inch drive base, also toolless design on the expansion slots, a nice large hole on the motherboard tray for the cooler's retention plate, and a lot more features which I'll cover in an upcoming video review.